Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be going over some books that I am excited to hopefully get to by the end of 2023. So I've chosen a couple books on my shelf that I wanted to share with you guys because these are books that I'm really hoping I get to by the end of the year and maybe by putting this video out it will hold me accountable to actually read these books so that I do finish them before the year's over and if I don't I can refer back to it and kind of give myself some crap for not doing it. So <laughs> here we go. Um, I feel like you're gonna laugh because most of these are the same genre. Um, I think there's only one that isn't. And if you've been watching any of my videos lately, then you know that I've been very into one specific genre. So you might not be surprised, <laughs> but yeah, let's just jump into it and I'll share what I'm looking forward to reading before 2023 is over. And I know we still have lots of time for that. We still got like four whole months, so. Lots of time to read these books. The first one is a book that I recently just got, and that is Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. Now, this one is more of like a secluded setting, and I have read two books by Darcy Coates, and I've loved both of them. And I also really like secluded settings, so I think this one's gonna be fun. It's essentially about a woman named Sam who decides to go to her uncle's remote lakeside cabin for a little while to just like go focus on her art and just spend time there kind of disconnected from everything else and so she's having a good time she's enjoying herself until she notices a man that is standing on the dock staring into the water and that starts creeping her out she starts seeing this man in other places like she thinks she's alone out here until she starts seeing this guy like in different occurrences multiple times and so it starts to get a little scary for her. She also has a radio out here and she hears on her radio that some hikers have gone missing and so things start getting a little scary. I mean I would already be scared in that situation but then this guy disables her car and starts kind of tracking her like she's his prey and so that's what we know from there. It sounds like it's going to be a deadly game of cat and mouse out in this lake and yeah, I'm very intrigued to find out how it goes. It also says on the back that there's four bonus stories included that will leave you haunted, and I love to hear that. So yeah, I think this one's gonna like pull me right in and just keep me invested in the story from start to finish. Then we have Five Survive, and from what I remember, this one is about a bunch of people who are trapped in a trailer, and they can't escape because there are well, there is a sniper on the outside that is trying to get the people in the trailer. And that's all I really know about this one. But like, I don't really want to know much more. I just want to jump right into it. That's like a secluded setting in its own sense where like, actually, no, that's that's more locked room. Scary book, thriller, horror. I don't know. I think it's like a mix. I think it's like a mixture of the two. But yeah, that would be terrifying. Like, Oof, I don't even know how I would feel about being in that situation. But I think it would be a very intriguing read. And so I'm excited to jump into it. Then I have the guest list. And I know this one's hit or miss with people. I know some people really don't like this one. And some people do really like this one. And I'm intrigued once again because it's secluded setting. I really like secluded settings. And like the back is just fun. It just sounds like an all around like murder mystery. It reminds me of like the show Harper's Island from what I'm reading on the back here. So... Yeah, but I'll read it to you because it's very short. An exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, and the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. So yeah, it, it has like, like definitely Harper's Island vibes, also like Agatha Christie vibes. So yeah, I think this one will be a quick read. And like the cover itself is just so haunting. I'm down for it. I also really like Irish settings. I don't know, there's something about like... The Irish countryside that's just so peaceful. I don't think it would be in this sense, but like, yeah, it sounds like it'll be fun. Then I have The Sanatorium, which I don't want to know much about this book. Just seeing this, The Sanatorium with this image, gives me an idea of what I'm going to go into with this. And like, I honestly don't want to know anything else. I did happen to open up this book though, because it is a used book. And it was really cute because there's little stamps on the inside. It says, this book passed through the Homewood Little Free Library. And then it has another stamp. This book passed through the Little Free Diverse Library. So it's gone through two free libraries and then ended up at the used bookstore where I purchased it. So that's kind of fun. And 
Yeah. I also discovered when I was visiting my parents this past weekend that they have a free little library right around the corner from their house. So next time I go back home, I'm going to bring some books to put in that little free library because I've always wanted to do that and I have not done it yet. So yeah, I think that'll be fun. Then I want to read Never Saw Me Coming. And this is following a main character who, so far as I remember, is a psychopath. And they're in like a therapy group for psychopaths. So like they're in this group with a bunch of other people that all kind of have like those tendencies and somebody starts killing like the different people in this group. But they're all like they all have that the psychopath mindset and you're in the shoes of one of them following along like trying to figure this out. So it's kind of interesting because you're going to see it from like the perspective of the person that like usually does the killing, I guess. And they're trying to survive somebody else who is also like the one that usually does the killing. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I'm butchering this description, but like I think it sounds really cool and it's going to be a fun time. So yeah, definitely want to check this one out. And then the last one I have on this list is Upgrade. And that's because it's Blake Crouch. And I loved Blake Crouch's other books. This one, I think it has to do with like genome sequencing and mixing like human DNA with animal DNA or something like that. It's something along those lines and what like the moral boundaries are between that and what happens when that does happen. So yeah, I'm very intrigued to see where it goes. Um, I honestly have no clue what to expect from this book, but I think it's going to be a fun time. If it's anything like Blake Crouch's other books, then I'm going to have a blast. So yeah, looking forward to it. And yeah, those are the six books that like I'm hoping to get to before the end of the year. I have four months to complete these six books. So honestly, if I just do two of them each month, then I'll be done early, which is great because Reindeer Readathon in December is always super busy. So if I get the books done before then, then props to that, but we'll see what happens. Also, Randy Readathon is in four months. Oh my god. I just realized that now, and I need to prepare. So, yeah, I should probably start doing that. Anyways, let me know if any of those books, you've read them already, because I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts on them. Let me know if you have any specific books that you want to read before the end of the year. Just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.